Now, this Reno Girl special is all about transformation. And Leanne is up next with a project she tackled for a very special someone. I always love the challenge of a budget makeover, but the extra challenge I have with this kitchen is that it's in my mom's rental condo. So there's not only limits on the budget, but also on what I can actually do. Everything is in great working condition. However, the finishes are a little dated and have had some wear and tear. So I've already reached out to the landlord and I have permission to paint a lot of the surfaces, which is great because paint is my secret weapon. But there are a few things I need to work around. The backsplash being one of them. I can't touch it, but I'm definitely gonna be coming up with a creative solution. And because this is a no demo reno, it's really gonna push the creative DIY limits to the limit. This project has truly showcased the power of paint. Nearly every single surface has got a fresh coat, including the cabinetry. Now, I worked with the existing Malamine doors and added some wood detail onto the slab to give it a little bit of, you know, something, something. But the real exciting part is the color. Now, I did a little bit of a flip on the traditional color scheme of having lighter uppers and darker lowers. And in this case, I used a color called Winter Fog on the top to help blend in the stainless steel range hood, and then very consciously chose white for the bottom to blend in all of the white appliances. Now, would you believe that the countertops also got painted? I used a product called Countertop Transformations, and there is this beautiful little mica sparkle in there, and it's masked all of the scratches, stains, and dings from over the years. Now, the backsplash as well got a facelift, but the old backsplash actually still exists in behind. I've just used a thin veneer board of brick over top to give it a totally new look. And maybe my favorite painted finish is right down here, the floor. I am so excited with how the existing floors turned out with a fresh coat, but not only paint, with a stencil. This is something that I did all on my own and it was very quick and easy to do, but makes a huge impact overall. A little storage solution over here that I DIY'd myself with some simple wood brackets and wood shelving, and then, one of my favorite pieces, because it was an opportunity to add some color, is this sweet little upcycled bench. This beautiful Tate Green adds a freshness to space that I love, but most importantly, my mom loves. Oh my gosh, all of that hard work paid off big time, Leanne. You're such a good daughter. Uh, thank you. Watching you paint that floor was incredible. Now, you couldn't paint the backsplash, so right. you had to get a little creative, and you're going to take us through some of the solutions you came up with and the, the options you used right now. Right, well, yes, I couldn't paint it, yeah. and I didn't have the budget for new sparkly tile, and I definitely didn't have the time uh, to, that was part of not painting it was to even like take down what was there and put it back up. So yeah. time, money, those are two of like the most important things with any reno project. So because I had neither, I had to get extra creative. Yeah. And in this case, it was ceramic tile and I knew I wanted to cover it up. But the big question was what mm -hmm. and how? Absolutely. How was the bigger question? Now, I came across some inspiration of brick backsplash and I loved Ooh. the look of it because it had that kind of modern Cucina feel mm -hmm. but I then had to figure out how do I create that look and I am not a bricklayer <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> and no that's okay. kind of like the limit of my DIY <laughs> skills so I decided to do something uh, not even just brick but a, a brick schmear German schmear look okay which is means to spread and that's yeah. uh, when you have brick but when you have a plaster look over top or a mortar oh, look over top. Schmear. So, schmear. So what I actually ended up finding was four foot by eight foot board. So this comes on a really big board. This is yeah. just a small cut. Uh, at my home improvement store, $60 a board. Yes. One board covered the entire backsplash. Oh, that's good a look. Awesome. Not as heavy as brick. Super light. Like that's very, very, very light. thin wood backing. Yeah. Super light. So that was great. I knew what I was going to use. The next thing was to figure out how to do the, the schmear technique as yes. well as how to stick this on the wall. Right. <laughs> so that was the most challenging thing because, again, I was going over top of tile. So yeah. I found something that is sitting right there that this? I'm just going to go ahead and say is a DIYer's miracle product. Miracle product. This product oh. is called Muscle Bound. Okay. And it comes on a roll mm -hmm. and it is super, super adhesive backing as well as a peelable front okay. that allows you to put this over everything from tile, yeah. existing tile, stainless steel, 
um, your existing drywall, if you have a no backsplash and no you want to add legs. a backsplash, and you basically apply this vertically. Now, I first thought, well, I'll run it horizontally around the backsplash, yeah. but you actually want to hang it vertically so that you're working with gravity for it to pull down and create the seal on the wall, and then just use a straight edge to cut it along your, your countertop. Yeah. Hold it in place for a few seconds to get that bond going. Yeah. And then this is the beautiful thing, Tracy. We peel the backing. Yeah or I should say the, the, the front of it. Yeah. And now we've got this super, super, as I mentioned, adhesive uh, sheet yes. that you can stick tile to, you can stick pretty much anything, mirrors. Tile. You can stick mirror. you can use tile. I've got this piece right here. Which is pretty heavy. Can I feel I'll let this? you feel it. Okay, this is yeah. You this can is a heavy use piece this product for up to seven pounds per square foot. That's how, a pretty how heavy How many pounds tile. is this? Right, uh, not not even close to that. Not even close but to seven. But we're going to stick this on, and the key is it's somewhat repositionable okay. until you give it a little bit of muscle. This is the muscle bound part of it. When you stick it on for about five seconds, that creates the seal. Sorry, I put my hair in there. <laughs> That's okay, because we can grow right over it. <laughs> okay, good. And the tile is up there permanently, good to go. What I love about me? this is there is no mortar, no messy mortar, and you can immediately Stick grout. It. You can immediately grout, and this tile is in behind there. We went, we're going right over top of the tile. Leanne, this is really good. Super time saving, yeah. super money saving, because we didn't have the demo cost. Yeah. It's so quick. Now, this is for tile, obviously, yeah. but, I found that it works. It worked amazingly for the brick veneer board. I bet it would, because it's much lighter than that. So much lighter. They're big pieces. I didn't need spacers for tiles, and yes. I don't need to grout. Yeah. The one thing is, when you're using this product, you want to make sure that the, uh, the what you're putting on is super clean on the back. And because these are okay. wood boards that I was running through the saw, yeah. they did get really dusty on the back, so I gave them a really quick, clean yeah. vacuum. I used a, a like crud cutter degreaser on there as well. Oh, you so did. So super dry and clean. Yeah. And then, again... I can just stick this. Right so what did on. you say about repositioning? Like if there's a little mistake and it's a little crooked, because right. I well, do that sometimes here, even with my I'll press on you. nails. Can so you, you take can, it off? You can kind of lift it off okay. to some extent. All right, and, and fix then it a bit. fix it. And then once you apply real pressure, yeah, give me some of that muscle, Tracy. Yes. Let's and go. Five seconds, three, Four, two, three, two, one, two, one. And we're good. And we're good. How long is that gonna stay up there for? It's permanent. It's a permanent seal. Yes. That's very now, good I would imagine solution. I could probably get in behind and pry it if I really wanted to. Yeah. And then use a super adhesive cleaner to, to clean off the existing ceramic tile on the back. Yeah. But why would you? Because the German schmear look was so, was so, so beautiful. It's so good. It turned out brilliantly. So show us how to schmear. Well, I wanted to show you this because this was my test. Mm -hmm. And I didn't like how I turned out. Oh, you didn't like how that it one. turned out? Because I used a spackle compound yeah. that is white. Yes. And that's fine, but that's not the traditional German schmear look. Okay. That's done with a mortar, which is gray. Yes. So with this, it was fine. It looks a little bit more like a lime wash or a white yeah. wash, which you can also get this look with it paint. It looks like icing on a cake. Right. <laughs> so instead what I did is I used a spackle compound that mm -hmm. is white, but I added chalked paint. Oh, so I, I added gray chalked paint, and it gave me this beautiful mortar color mm -hmm. without the hassle of mortar because it dries really hard mortar, it's like cement. Yeah. And this is light and fluffy. It's almost, it is like icing a cake. And I found this to be so therapeutic. Mm -hmm. And you can just trowel it on and you can see, you can add as much or as little yeah. and work in different directions. And what I also loved about this is you can fill the seam lines really easily yeah. so the pattern doesn't need to be filled perfectly uh, or lined up perfectly. And when you go back through, now that chalked paint has actually dyed the that brick a little good. bit. Right? It gives you texture, and texture is something that you can't get with just paint. Yeah. And then if you also want, always have like a, a cloth handy. And whoop, we left a little bit too much icing on the <laughs> cake up there. Uh, you can go through and kind of expose some more of the grout lines as oh well. Oh my gosh, so LA, a I could actually watch you wa do that for a really long time. <laughs> it is very therapeutic, yeah. very fast. And the one thing I do want to say is you can go in and sand this after. I used a gator sanding block to give it, to take off any rough edges, but yeah. clear coat over top afterwards. Clear coat. Because it's a kitchen, you want it to be washable. So LA, a good protective clear coat. Your mother's lucky to have you.